So we're going to open up the Betrayal Project that I was talking about. And we're going to... Crank that up a little bit. I don't know how well that's coming through. We do that and then turn it down a little bit. Actually. That's probably coming through better now. Nope. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> there we go. So yeah, we're gonna do some. I'm just gonna work on the program. Uh, it's a betrayal at the house on the hill. I guess you could call it a port. It's just sort of a remaking. I'm remaking the board game. Um, <clears throat> in. In this, uh, in C sharp, I just I can't think. Yeah, I'm remaking the remaking the board game in C sharp. Um, and once I load this up, I'll go to the uh, head over to the GitHub page for it. So yeah, I'm thinking Link 99 on GitHub as well. So if you want to follow my projects, uh, you can go to that. <clears throat> and here's the this is the front end of it. This is the actual thing people see. <coughs> um, so this is the yeah you know, the actual front end of the game, which also has inside of it the server app that I'm developing for it, which is going to be my plan is to make this a client server kind of app so you can actually play with your friends uh, over the internet um, as well as local basically and then here's the API for it which is just has all the characters like the, the information for the characters the haunts the cards the tiles the all that kind of stuff so yeah this is uh, yeah that's what this is so if we jump back over here, um, we are going to, for now, just kind of work on the actual front end for a bit. Um, so I can kind of, I can kind of show you what this is like. Uh, I'll run it so you have a, an idea of what I've got so far. My goal with this is also to have, I'm doing the characters, rooms, all that kind of stuff, all the, the information for the game in JSON files, so that, <clears throat> uh, yes, <laughs> no, we don't, why is it aired out? Oh, because I don't have the, yeah, because uh, for some reason it doesn't save properly, so properties, uh, okay. So we have to re-reference that. But yeah, the the plan with this, um, like content-wise, the content of the game is going to be JSON files, so that you can people can create their own things, um, like their own characters, their own rooms, their own haunts. All that kind of stuff, and it can be easily loaded in. Even on top, I'm gonna plan for it to be be able to be loaded in on top of the base game as well, which could theoretically add potential for more players, uh, that sort of thing. So that's kind of the idea with this. Um, you see here, this JSON Maker. That's just a little small app I'm working on so that to make the process of making the JSON files easy. Uh, so you don't have to worry about knowing how to write JSON files. You can just go through and use that to 
build everything. Um, I haven't built this, it looks like. What is the base game? The the base game is just the the have you ever I mean have you heard of Betrayal at the House on the Hill? Maybe I did I, I guess maybe I didn't even say that. But yeah, the game is Betrayal at House on the Hill, the board game. Which I'm remaking in C sharp. So also good to see a cake. Okay, so that's built. So now I can go back over to this and Seasoft API. And if I build this again, <clears throat> what? <laughs> All right, so it looks like I've done a lot of work over on the API that I haven't actually done over here yet. Session. Oh, did I get rid of the output text box? Oh, it's right here. Still called output. Oh wait, session is the game. Right? I don't remember. <coughs> I touch this code maybe like once a month. <laughs> Okay, let's go back over to that game main form dot session. Session is the game class, right? Yeah, okay. So that's back over here. Mechanics. Ah, yeah, so I did get rid of the output in favor of making everything string functions. Oh, shoot. Um, okay, go back down to this. Maybe? <laughs> How did I... Okay. What did I do here? I did something and I forget. <laughs> Public accessors... Constants. Yeah, I did. I did something, and I just I can't remember for the life of me what it is I did. Uh, next turn, I don't need AI turn. I don't need end turn. I don't need special end turn rooms. I don't need. Huh. Where did I... Movement. That's right. Okay, so where where am I calling move player? That is probably being called on the actual... Click events, right? Yeah, event handlers, <clears throat> buttons, uh, yeah, buttons. Yeah, move player. So we'll just do RTB output dot text plus equals. Here we go. Okay, so that takes care of output. Our TV output. Our TV output, which our TV just stands for rich text box. That's sort of my nomenclature with uh, form controls is like three letters describing what it is. So buttons are like BTN, labels are LBL, 
uh, and then the name of it. So that's kind of how I name my form controls, if you are interested. Um, okay, one more on this thing. That one. Yeah, we'll cut. We'll just do that for right now. Um, <clears throat> player does not contain a definition for is human. Why? I don't think I changed that. Player. That yeah, player is human. Or is it? Oh, it's because I capitalized that. That's right. Uh, see, sharp in your finicky ways. Okay, let's build that. <clears throat> and then we'll run it. How are you doing, Cake? Are you? Aren't, wait, aren't you in, in school right now, aren't you? Okay, so this is the it's just menu right now. Um, obviously, new game or new local game, new online game, load and quit. Uh, both of these point to the same next menu, but do different things. So local game, local game, and then you just enter your screen name. Um, this will be different for the local game because it, it then will, if you click local, it'll ask you for how many players are playing up to six. Max, like minimum of three, maximum of six, and then it'll populate a box of text boxes for each player's name that's playing. Um, and it crashed because that folder doesn't exist. Ugh, so much, so much wrong. If <coughs> directory dot exists and then do -do 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 path so if it exists then do that otherwise you can fuck off and don't do anything <laughs> so that solves that problem oh well cake's gone <laughs> okay, so new local game. I'll just enter. Think, think. Ninety-nine. Oh, can't hit enter. Okay, so this, this says. Oh, so it says server right now. Uh, this was the screen for both the lo local launch and the online launch. Um, so in the in the online launch, you'll be able to put in an IP address and a port, which would be like whoever's running it, their IP and the port that they've <coughs> chosen for that. Uh, and then this, my plan is to be just a text box, uh, a message box, basically. Um, and then, so you'd select which content pack, which is like, that's going to have all your JSON files. Right now, you can only select one, but like I said, uh, I want to try and maybe having things like you can have just different characters that replace the base characters or just different rooms that replace just the rooms, whatever, like all these things on top of the base pack not just selecting one base one content pack so yeah and then anyway you'll uh, click play offline what now cuz i don't have the json files <laughs> right i don't have the vanilla content pack <laughs> christ Is that in the... Huh. Let me go back over to here. Is that over here? Hopefully it is. What environment? What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I was playing around with this GitHub stuff for this project, which, by the way, it is uh, available. You can come in and edit it, uh, create a fork of it, whatever. So... If you're interested, it is there. 
gonna go into my files on this. House on Hill. Uh... This is an old one, I think. Because it still has the engine. Yeah, this is old. It still has the engine files in there. Unless mine does too. No, yeah. So that's an old... I need my personal version that I've been working on. Not my my organization version. Uh, also, Lincoln, uh, if you're interested, is my attempt at building a 2D RPG or 2D PC game uh, framework. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so House on Hill, House on Hill. Never mind, I guess it still is there. Uh, Properties? No. Resources. There it is. Wait, no. Wait, characters. Damn it, that's the that's the pictures. Fuck. I don't have the JSON files anymore. Unless they are in the API folder. Which I highly doubt, because I'm not that smart. API, Csoth, Csoth, uh, bin, debug, nope, release, nope, <laughs> crap, crap, okay, so that's not going to work, um, in that case then, actually, what I'm going to do then is work on this, the JSON maker program. <laughs> because then I can just remake them. So, because believe me, those are a pain in the ass to make. Okay, so my plan with this then was this is the characters page, which has the ID, which will be just this a number indicating the side you're using. So, side one or side two of the of the character sheet. Um. This label is the name. This label is uh, the color, which might oh crap, which may end up just being a drop-down list. Um, not sure yet though. Oh damn it. <laughs> Man, Visual Studio is a pain in my ass sometimes. Name. Uh, color, which is the token color, obviously. And then, what did you find? Birthday, birthday, because that's the other important thing. So ID, name, color, birthday, and then, so this is your stats. Of might and speed sanity and God damn it. All right, it's gonna break, and we gotta go into the fucking yep. There we go. Get rid of that. Save. Go back. Save. There we go. So, sanity and then knowledge. 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 <clears throat> okay. Now I need the colon on that. So then we'll readjust these so they line up the way they should. are all lined up now. Um, I don't remember what this list box was for. 
I might just show you what players you have so far. Um, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> so this will be the save button then. <laughs> ah, no. Save current character. And then this will be, what would we call it? Um, uh, print to file? Maybe? Uh, we'll just, we'll call it, the name of it will just be BTN, we'll do BTN print. That way I know it's the print to file button. And then BTN save. So what this button will do is save it and then just store it in this uh, text button. This label store the name. Then you can go back through, click through it, change things if you want. Print to file will print, will just save the JSON sheet as it is currently. Um, Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm just trying to like get this all straight in my head. Um, my plan with these is obviously there's eight of them, and there's always a starting, a starting stat for the traits. Um, so my plan is you click one from like this row. It'll highlight the box or make it make the back color green or just something something to indicate that you've selected it and then that'll be the starting value it'll save that as the starting index position so zero one two etc <clears throat> so you select one from this row won't affect anything else down here same 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 you know I just have to figure out how to do that um, Ooh. Do, 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 I could do put it in a panel. All Windows forms. Panel. We do copy this over, put it into this panel. And then just do that. Could look pretty cool. Well, not cool, but should serve the purpose that I need it to serve while also not looking too terrible yes <laughs> okay so we'll get rid of all these and we'll just copy paste that so I don't have to keep doing that oh I just had Taco Bell not agreeing with me Oh shoot, I just put those, yep. Never select inside a panel or it'll make everything you paste a child of that panel. <laughs> I think I should probably know that, but we'll blame it on I forgot and call it a day. There we go, that looks all right. Um, obviously need to readjust these. There we go. 
Alright. Um, so I think that'll look alright. And then I can... Do, 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 do. So now that they're in a panel, they're considered a child of that panel. So I can access them through the controls of that panel at runtime. Assign them all a click event. And... Oh, uh, <laughs> go through. So give them all a click event so that they they will check. They will go through this and then check their parent. And if there's any other control that is highlighted green, it will des it'll change that one back to like control color or white color or whatever and then make that new one that they just clicked be green. Oh, I think, I think that should work. I'm not too certain at the moment. Um, now let's just try it. So, okay. So we'll rename the panels so that they're easier to find. Uh, panel, PNL, might. PNL, what is this one? Speed, sped, panel sped. Um, panel sanity. And then panel knowledge. Knowledge. All right, so that should be good. And then we'll go over into the code. We'll just do a quick save all. Close the designer. Uh, close player. Oh, right, because I'm in the JSON maker, not the, yep. I was confused because I've seen main form, which is what I always call the main form on everything. So like in the other project, it's also called main form. So I was really confused. <coughs> okay, so we'll call this function assign click event. Um, and then we'll write the click event. <coughs> uh, to private void select uh, we'll just select my we will we'll make four different click events just to be sure that they're su they're searching the right lists um, I think this is gonna be the easiest way to do it object sender uh, event args uh, we'll just copy that. <laughs> do, do, do. So select might, select speed, select seed, <laughs> select speed, select sanity, and select knowledge. Not going to do it this time. There we go. <coughs> so in select might, it will for each uh, God, Christ. For each uh, what are they, text boxes? For each, oh, damn it, text box, uh, txt, in PNL might, I typing is all over the place, in PNL might, sorry, dot controls, there we go, if, txt 
dot name equals equals e dot oh e dot to string which should give me the name of the button Um, we'll do if txt dot back color is not equal to color dot, uh, let's look at the greens. Color dot light green since that's the, the color of the starting value in on the actual character sheet. We'll do color dot light green. Um, if it's not light green, then see if it equals the name of the current button clicked sent by E. Then if it is, uh, Uh, <laughs> we're doing this as a four instead of a four each because four each creates a copy instead of uh, a reference. So int i i less than pnl might dot controls dot count dot length dot count. There it is. I plus plus. Uh, and then txt we have to change to this index i index i so then if panel might dot controls index i dot name equals the current event dot to string then change that back color oh fuck <laughs> dot back color equal to color dot light green <coughs> which will set it to that um, if it is if color is equal to light green we're obviously changing it because we've clicked we've called this event we're clicking so we're changing it so else Panel controls index i dot back color equals color dot control dot uh, white, I guess. This should work. Um, so we'll go through and just take this again. Canal might dot controls index i dot click plus equals select select might like that. So now I'm assigning the click event to this event we just made for every control inside panel might which is those text boxes yes <laughs> so if we do then on the main form constructor assign click event and then build it and run it damn it set as the start of the project so we run it now what should happen is I should be able to click the text boxes Let's put a <laughs> nice let's put a breakpoint um, here and then click okay so it is it is getting the click event the count is eight good so it is getting all the buttons color is not equal to light green obviously. And e.toString literally equals 
Battle Watch. System.windows.forms.mouse event args. That's okay. So then, what if I do object? Do, 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 do. Object. Oh, wait, no. Sender. I need sender. Sender dot two string. What does that give me? Quick watch. Damn it. Are you kidding me? Let me do this, let me add a watch to it. <clears throat> I can't even get the name off of this text box. There's gotta be something I can do. Okay, if I create, if I stop debugging, create a click event just for this, just for the a hot second. Okay, so it does give me event works. So I, I did do that right, okay. There's gotta be some way of getting the name from the button. There's just, there's gotta be. Let's see. Okay. I was making sure that nobody said anything in chat that I wasn't getting on my phone. Um, okay. So there's gotta be a way of getting event args or sender to give me the name of the button. Uh, <laughs> I hate this. I, I just, okay. Let's run it again, just to have the debugger so we can just test things. Uh, click. I know this all works. Oh, fuck. Uh, go back. There we go. So, sender. Oh, wait. Okay, I got it. So, if we do. We'll do this. TXT, or text box. TXT equals text box sender so now we're we're setting this new text box called txt equal to the parsed version of sender the parsed so the object of sender parsed to a text box rather than a yes okay so then we can do txt dot name there we go that'll work I don't know that I set the name. I don't know if the names would actually show up, though. That's the thing. Um, name equals txt no 7. txt equals no 3. Is that no 7 or no 1? That's no 7. Interesting. Does it start with 7? Did it put that one? Is that the one it's like counting first? Huh. So seven then must be obviously zero, knowledge zero, or yeah, knowledge zero, because I counted it, started counting it. Zero. It's probably got to name. Oh, I got a Snapchat from Alan. I missed it again, scrolling through looking at Alan's Snapchat. Okay, TXT no zero. Cool. So it's just gonna go through backwards, but that should work. Uh, we'll take the breakpoint off. Yeah, cool. So obviously every time you click in one, it's going to change it to green as you're typing, but you can go through zero, 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 and then select that one. Cool. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised that that worked. Not gonna lie, that just like on the second go, that worked. So that's pretty cool. So then we can just copy this over, all of this actually, into this, into this, into this. Uh, so we're done with mites, we'll minimize that. 
So select speed then. So PNL speed. I definitely called one PNL speed. So we'll just. PNL sanity. I'm honestly really happy that that worked because I was, for some reason, that was just really confusing for me just thinking about it. So I guess I just had to say it out loud. Okay. So that's all copied over. That'll work now. Um, oh, shoot. Not that it matters. It's the same count anyway. They're all should be eight, but just better if we reference in our count the exact same thing we're referencing that way it's we know for certain it's it's right so I'll go back over here so panel did I call like a button or something on accident instead of the actual oh I didn't even name these text boxes oh shoot I guess it doesn't matter though because I don't need to know really what they're not, what they're named I just need to know <laughs> I did I just I changed it to W Nice, okay. So that should work, I can... Now in assign click event then, go through here. D oh shoot. D d and, d and then we'll change this one to piano speed. And this one to piano mic, uh, sanity. Oh, hey, AJ, what's going on, man? I'm just working on my uh, Betrayal at House on the Hill project. I'm actually working on a, j a, a thing to make the JSON files so you can create custom characters and content and shit. So. How you doing, man? Also, I can't hop on Discord right now because for some reason it's doing this. So, yeah. Probably uh, have to like actually fully shut down Discord or something, but yeah. All right, so we'll start this. See what it does. Just woke up. <laughs> yeah, it's it's 1:30, but all right. <laughs> all right, so what I've done here then, Asia, just to kind of catch you up a little bit, is made these these for the stat boxes. Uh, this is where you obviously input all the the starting or the the eight stats of the character per trait and then you can select the starting one um, right here it's not working on these for some reason so I'm gonna have to go through and fix that so we'll do we'll, we'll do the speed one first Oh, because I gave everything the select might. That's, uh... I'm a dipshit. That's why. Select speed. Select sanity. And select knowledge. So there we go. That'll... That'll work. On that, just copy pasted code. I don't know why it wouldn't. <clears throat> so yeah, you can. Uh, so the green boxes then, once you like, actually create the JSON file, those just indicate the which value is the starting value for the character. Uh, so obviously, like, probably just go down like this. And if you select one in a row, it'll just set that one to green not all the other ones and it won't change anything else so so yeah that's what I've been that's what I've been working on pretty cool pretty cool uh, let me close discord actually close steam close visual studio closed stream <laughs> close these uh, if you're interested ever in seeing what I do. Here is the project uh, on my GitHub. 
so it's right there. Okay, so that's the trait stuff done. Our traits, like starting selection done. So now the rest of this should be pretty easy. Uh, let's create a function called uh, print to JSON. And we need a reference to lit JSON. Which I will go copy over into the JSON Maker project. Okay, so lit JSON. Um, using lit JSON. So what that allows us to do is just easily write and read JSON files. Um, there's also the Newton soft, which is basically the considered the .NET JSON. But I don't like using it. <laughs> I had the worst nightmare ever just a little ago. Oh man, that, that sucks. What uh, what was happening in your uh, your nightmare, Aj? What's happening in that? Okay, so now I need to go back over to the mechanics so I can see how I'm reading the files, so I can print them out exactly the same. So characters. And I'll just copy this over and do the reverse. I had to kill family members and they were trying to kill me. Oh, that is pretty bad. <laughs> okay, so, wait, what's data? Data object is, oh yeah. So, okay. Nah, not that. Who's on right now? Ichigo Ishtar watching Think Link 99. <laughs> Still pretty shaken up about that. That sucks, man. I'm sorry. Alright, so. So we don't need this. Uh, so the string JSON file is just going to be printed out, um, or that's what we're going to load everything into, so we can print it out into a JSON file. Um, And then we'll do JSON mapper dot two. Is there two JSON? Yes, there is. Two JSON. And so that will just change the. Or will it? do that for now. I guess I really don't have to... Is there any way to... Can I get a definition of this to see what it'll do? Of course not. <laughs> so... Okay, so there's two JSON with the object and a JSON writer, which, I mean, all I want it to do is just write, write to a file. That's all I want it to do. 
So I, I guess that's kind of what I, yeah, it's a void anyway, so that's probably what I want. So JSON mapper, yeah. So we'll do the JSON mapper dot two JSON, um, and then new JSON writer. System.io.textwriter. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, and then we'll up here. Actually, we can just do this. Uh, no, we'll do it. Eh. Yeah, we'll do it down here. Um, stream writer SW equals new stream writer. Ow, I need to fucking include system.io. Um, do, 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 How do I want to do the path? How do I want to do the path? <laughs> well, can I even use SW as the, the writer object? Okay, I can. Yep, cool. So then if I do, we'll just do a path here. Um, and then up here, create a string path. Uh, no. We'll do a path object, path, uh, fuck, path thing up here. String path equals empty string. Uh, and then on the actual thing here. Oh, not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to do that. We'll put another text box. Uh, no, that's stupid. Do a file. File, an open file dialog. Or is there a folder dialog? There's a save file, but I don't want them to have to save. I just want them to be able to open a file. Directory searcher. Directory entry? No, no. We've eaten overcooked in like 10 to 11 hours yesterday. Complete 100%. Nice, dude. Nice. I've got that on uh, Xbox, so maybe Christian and I will have to try and beat your time. Was it, was you and Ryder, right? I drove past your house after class. I think I saw Ryder's vehicle, so I'm assuming Ryder was over there. Folder browser dialog. There we go. Right in front of my fucking face. Um, and... Yeah. We'll just... We'll do that for now. Um, okay. <laughs> Yee hee. Nice, dude. Nice. Ooh. Once we get in here, we'll set path equal to file, no, folder, folder browser dialog, dot, path, dot selected path, dot, <laughs> what else is in here, is there just, okay. <coughs> Actually, it was more like nine and a half hours. Oh, nice. That's even better. Like I said, I'll have to get Christian. Uh, we'll, we'll do an all-day stream, and we'll try to beat your time on Overcooked. <laughs> okay, so... Folder browser dialog. That's like a path. Cool. That's all I really want that. So now the JSON, we'll have to do... Um, Do. I don't need that. Hey, good luck, mate. The game can be very frustrating. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so So I could probably do Oh, how do I do this? trying to think all right well so we'll do JSON plus equals and we need that as a start String dot cat. Um, so do that. Um, and then txt id. Um, id. Just trying to remember how to write JSON files. <laughs> this is why you don't. This is why I want this uh, program so I don't have to sit here and try to remember how to write JSON files after I'm done with this. I can just quickly open this up and make a character. Um, so ID is done, and then name, name. Okay, I gotta, I gotta look this up. I'm doing this wrong. I'm almost positive. JSON. <laughs> How to write a JSON file. <laughs> Not Newton soft, fuck Newton soft. So I don't need I don't need str like string tags around these. But I do need these around this. Nope, I uh, did that wrong. <laughs> there we go. And then that. Uh, txt name, name. And then, so okay, name's done. Oh. Birthday. TXT birthday. So that's done. Color.
60 color. Ah, oh, I'm not actually doing the text files, text fields. So that's, that wouldn't work. TXT color, what did I call it? TXT, there we go, TXT color. Back now, sorry, I didn't say I was leaving for this. That, that's all right. You don't have to tell me when you're leaving. I'm not offended at all. I wouldn't be surprised if you left. You'd sit here and watch me program for fucking an hour. <coughs> it's enough to make anybody leave. Cur knowledge. Cur knowledge, cur sanity, cur might, cur speed are the index. Uh. <laughs> So we'll set okay. We'll set variables up here again. Um, God, there. Int cur int cur no equals zero. Int cur san equals zero. Oh, I don't have to. I can just do this. Cur speed equals zero. Cur might equals zero. Nah, we can chat though. <laughs> okay. And then in the select, so this will do cur might equals i. So that'll give me the index that I need for this value. Cool, that's easy. Cur speed equals zero. Cur sand equals zero. And cur knowledge. Or no equals zero. So now we do cur knowledge. And do cur no. I guess it's an integer even in the database so I don't have to yeah I don't have to set a string around it which saves me a little time a little bit of annoyance uh, and then but I do have to set there's something else I'm not doing right commas <laughs> those are important Commas are important, kids. There we go. Okay. And then cur sanity. Cur san. Forgot my comma. Cursan. Cur. White. Cur migget. Is. Cur. White. Oh my god. Cursamite. And. Her speed is her speed. All 
right, let's... Let's do that. So we can... There we go. So these are done. Now we just have to do the knowledge, the stat arrays. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but after that, we're done. At least with the characters. <laughs> we still have to do the ones for the fucking tiles and the cards and the haunts. And the, oh, my God. This project is so annoying, but I love it. But it's annoying. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll just do that for right now. Um Sorry, I'm just trying to think. First off, how to write arrays. So let's go back to my little JSON tutorial. Bracket. Yeah, bracket. Okay. So, do, 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 do. We'll take this onto another new line. Do a do a bracket and then but I have to give it a name right because I have it given a name here cards okay yeah yeah, yeah. right okay cool 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 all right so this will be the how did they do it Oh, they do have it in... Uh, <laughs> they do have the name in quotes. Okay. Fine. This is incredibly annoying to have to write. I just... I want you all to know that. You all being AJ. <laughs> do that that's going to be the end of the array so knowledge sanity huh what I heard my name oh I said I just want you all to know that this is annoying you all being AJ <laughs> Copy this. Paste it. New line. Paste it. Alright, and then might. And speed. Sorry, I'm watching a video on YouTube. That's alright, my dude. That's alright. Um. Uh, we'll go back through and put fucking this on everything.
Okay. Go through, name these real quick. So I don't even TXT. Okay, so, so TXT San Zero. So I'm just gonna name the text boxes so that when I'm pulling the data from them, I know which one I'm pulling from. I don't have to go through a loop of all the controls. I can just call it directly. annoying but it'll save me lots of code later so it's better to do it now than later sand for sand five txt sand six and Saiyan 7. Oh, <laughs> those were speed. Damn it. I go through and change the name. Oh, fuck me. These are knowledge, though. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> those are called knowledge. <laughs> Fuck! Okay, you know what? No, we're not we're not changing everything. We're gonna change the order of my fucking labels. Fuck me. <laughs> fucking idiot. And then might and speed. And I'm gonna change the name of this panel too, from PNL might to PNL no knowledge. Spelled wrong apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PNL speed. God, I'm a fucking moron. You know, might. PNL sanity. PNL speed. PNL knowledge. There we go. Okay, now we can get back to fucking naming shit. TXT MIG Zero. TXT MIG One. TXT MIG Two. TXT MIG Three. T Mig four TXT Mig five TXT Mig six TXT Mig seven That's might done last one is speed Speed zero. TXT speed one. TXT speed two. Two. There we go. TXT speed three. Speed four. TXT 
speed five. GXT speed six. And TXT speed seven. Okay. Now that that's done. Now we have to go through and put them all into this array. Yay. <laughs> Okay. Knowledge. They're all numbers, so I don't have to worry about it. I can just go zero dot text txt text txt no one dot text t txt k two dot text txt k3 dot text txt k4 dot text k5 dot text txt k6 dot text txt k7 So that's that one's good. For right now, I will go back and fix these later. But we're just gonna use the knowledge ones for all of it because I don't want to have to fucking change it right now, and I just want to make sure it works. So here, if I click. Print to file. We'll do. So it's gonna have to save this file, this string somewhere. So we'll do a string array of characters, and then. On the build event, we'll do characters equal new string array eight. So we'll create eight null strings. And then when you save a character, no, we don't want eight, we want 12. Six characters, two sides, 12 strings. And then on print, it'll go through and do a print to JSON. So this is just gonna be the save function. This this will be the 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 the, the all this will go into the oh this anyway. We'll go into the save character function. Uh, I don't actually need that at all. Okay, and then sh string strong JSON. So then all print JSON is going to do is probably not what I want it to. I've already got, oh, sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to get this all straight in my head. Okay, so print to JSON won't take this. It will loop through. For int i equal to zero, i less than, then characters dot length, 
I++. Uh, we don't need the two JSON because it's we're already setting it up in our in the JSON format, so that's pointless to do. <clears throat> so then we'll just do, 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 create the new stream writer. Which should be open to a text file, basically. And then do path dot write. <laughs> Why can't I do anything? Oh, because it's not path. It's SW. Duh. Path dot. Path dot write. Line. Oh. Path dot write line. Uh, characters. I. Yes, I think. Uh, and then obviously sw.close so yeah that should work I think <sighs> he said doubtfully uh, we'll go over here then to save character save current character and just copy this. Uh, if characters i equals equals null or characters i equals equals empty string, because I'm not sure which one it'll do, because it's never the same when I do things for some reason. <laughs> <coughs> then, so if it's if it's null or empty string, oh, then save character at position I. No, we'll make this a string. <laughs> we'll make this return everything it writes. Return JSON. So then, characters index i equals save character. There we go. And. Uh, LST or no list box one is what's called dot items dot add txt name dot text so it'll add that name that you just of the character that you just created to the list box okay <laughs> just I'm not gonna lie, at this point, I'm just tired. For some reason, my throat and my mouth keep getting really dry. Hmm. Okay, so that ends that. Okay, so I, I just realized I'm not done here yet. So that ends that array. So then I have to end it again to end the big array. And that'll be it. That's the end of that string. Okay. So then here we do SW dot write. And we'll do that character, yeah, nope, that character. Which signifies the start. 
and then sw dot right do, 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 that which signifies the end hopefully <laughs> and here we will do another text box we'll make it read only um, all it's going to be used for is to show the current location browse da 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 TN browse. Make this read only. True. And GXT path. What browse will do is folder dialog dot open dot show dialog and then set txt path dot text equal to folder dialog dot selected path that's all it's going to do That just allows people to set the, the path, gives them feedback knowing that they have set the path. Let's run it, fucking see what it does. <laughs> I don't fucking know what it's gonna do. Does these, do these still work so that I change things? Cool, those still work, good. We'll put a name in, we'll, not, we'll put in a name, an ID, a color, and we'll skip birthday just because it's string, and then we'll do zero, 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 zero. We'll set that as the current string. We'll browse to this PC desktop. Oh, I'm gonna have to create a new file because this is a folder browser. what I want. I want open file dialog. It is what I want. Open file dialog. OFD open file. Get rid of folder browser. OFD, OFD, dia, open file, for everything. Yeah, I know it's not select path, I don't care. Dot, file name. file name. I have one more occurrence, didn't I? No? Okay. Cool. Let's run that instead. Let's see what it does. Uh, zero, 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 zero. Do that. I do zero. Name. Gray. Color red. No birthday. Browse. Okay, this is better. Create a new text document. JSON. Open. 
And if we save current character, Trey should be in the list. Cool. Did he print a file? I don't know if it did what it was supposed to. Let's go check JSON. Cool. <laughs> it did what it was supposed to, technically. <laughs> Which is good. That... Ah, I forgot commas in between those. <laughs> That's important. Okay. That's good to know, at least. So it is It is doing what it's supposed to. Oh, fuck. I have to go back through and... These are all the same thing anyway, so we're just going to delete them, put them back in later. Ah, oh, I didn't want to do get rid of those. <laughs> These I need to keep. <laughs> and then we'll just do that. And do that. That. Oh no. Not that. 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 And that. And we'll copy it again. Saved. Good. <clears throat> so that gives at least some sort of feedback right now that it did save properly. Or it's just, it's done, basically. Um, so zero. Tray in lowercase, just so we know, we, we know it changed. Red in lowercase, and then one, two, one, 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 one. Browse to JSON, 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 JSON. Where the fuck? <laughs> there it is. Save current character and print a file. File saved, good. Come back down to here, back down to JSON. One, two, one, 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 one. Current speed. So yeah, current might is four, and I didn't select anything else, so those were zero. Name Trey, ID zero, birthday. Birthday red, color blank. Okay, so that's wrong. That's uh, that's a me error. Um, is that a design error? Color, wait, stop debugging. He, yes, it is, because I named the dip. Okay, txt color. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> So we'll just swap these then. I had the text boxes in the right place. I was doing the right thing. I had the text boxes in the wrong place. That's all that was. Cool. Uh, I got a notification on uh, Instagram. Everybody's getting my attention today. All right. Well, I got something done at least on the stream. That's basically the creation process for a character J JSON done. There's a little bit I'm going to change, but I'm going to end this stream here. Thank you, AJ, for coming out. Thank you, Cake, for coming out earlier. Um, if you want to see me do this more, let me know. Uh, I do like programming. It is my job, and I love doing it. So if you want to see me do this more, let me know. As always, my YouTube channel is in the bottom right. My Twitter is on the bottom left. And if you are active on Reddit, go to r slash thinklink99 to talk about the community there. Uh, let, and you can let me know things there. I check that frequently, but Cake and I are really the only ones who use it. So 
Yeah. Peace out, guys. Peace out.